Hello, my name is Car City Two, and welcome back, Omnifactory playthrough. I am just crafting up some of the thorium fuel. Uh, we know that is actually pretty easy. It is just the thorium, and then it's just nine of these. But uh, I'm crafting up a whole bunch more thorium at the moment, um, so I just gotta kind of wait for that stuff to process um because it's not the fastest this is definitely not the fastest machine um but i don't mind usually it just kind of chugs away when i'm you know off doing something else so yeah i've gone ahead and moved i know it's a big hole in the wall over here I've gone ahead and moved the fusion reactor down um down here and i've gone ahead and expanded it uh, easy enough. Basically, I have just put, uh, it's just a checkboard chat pattern with cryothium. So the entire thing is just a reactor cell, cryothium, and a checkboard pattern. And then obviously the one underneath it is, um, it's like, it's like one over or whatever. So everything is, uh, touching the thing. Because the coolers just need to... These just need to be adjacent to two reactor cells, so yeah, I just, uh, I find that is actually pretty easy, and it gives decent cooling, actually. Um, we have 25 cells in there, and we have minus 4,000 heat, so we go ahead and throw that in there. You can see they take, uh, was it 30 seconds-ish to go through the thing, and it only uses 450 heat. Um, obviously, these really don't produce any heat <laughs> they're like some of the lowest but uh yeah um after we do that we are going to be running the len through it and the len only does 36 so it's just double so yeah but basically we're doing this to get the americium i've basically just i need as much americium as possible so this one gets 28 that one gets 12 one gets 24 that one gets eight so this is definitely the easiest one to do and basically we just get the neptunium from the uh from these basically so there is the neptunium that we need so we get that from thorium and turn it into that so it's actually relatively easy um but i'm thinking um, moving forward, we're going to need to, one, we're going to need lots of these chaos shards that we got. We got the chaos shard, um, last episode, but I think we're going to need like 10, 10 more of those tier eights. And then we have to use these chaos shards for, you know, other stuff. So one Draconic reactor core uses four. And, uh, I don't think we're, we might not need it. I don't know. Not sure about that one, but as we can see, it's in a couple recipes here that we need. So the ultimate generator <laughs> requires them, and yeah. So, but the main thing is the tier nine and the tier ten require them. So, yeah, we're going to need to get chaos shards automated. But in order to do that. And if we look at that recipe, that requires 26 billion. If I want to upgrade the Draconic things, that's 30 billion. Um, this only holds like 10 billion. So we're going to have to sort out our power. And I think, um, I kind of mentioned it yesterday, I think I want to upgrade our fusion reactor um, to a tier 3. Um, so I can start producing nickel plasma. Now I haven't actually tried um i haven't tried it in this one i feel like you're not supposed to tier three but i do remember in a, another version of greg tech community edition it was actually bugged it would let you do it in a lower tier but i haven't tried it so i'm gonna go with you're not supposed to and uh we'll upgrade our thing but uh yeah i've also replaced all the hatches with the or as many cases as I could with the fluid input hatches I realized I forgot eight output hatches on the inside you can do 16 input and 16 output and I totally forgot about the eight in the middle 
Um, but I'm going to replace everything we possibly can so we have less americium. Because if we remember the Mark two fusion machine cases require six each. So six times eight, six times 80, 480. And uh, right now we are only at about 100 and what is that, 108? So yeah, we need quite a few more. Um, that is why I have some thorium processing and we're, we're running this. Um, so that is kind of my plan. I think I want to get today. Get this producing. Um, yeah, get this producing nickel plasma because nickel plasma burns. We look five <laughs> fifty three hundred seconds compared to oxygen plasma. Yeah, kind of a big difference. So that's what I'm thinking. All right, but. Uh, yeah, so let me, I guess, let me cut here, and um, we'll come back, and uh, we'll see what we can do today. All right, while I am getting all the americium that we're going to need, I think I'm going to, uh, today, I think we want to start getting our, we're going to need fluorine and potassium for the fusion recipe. I think I want to actually get this set up. And uh, we started doing it. Um, we started setting it up before with uh, the igneous extruder. So that's just been kind of chugging away. And we have 1.1 million so far in a decent amount. I can always expand this if needed. Um, but I'm thinking this is going to be put. We'll put this down by the fusion reactor. And I'm thinking underneath is what I want to do, but I want to do the chain. So I'm thinking I'm going to need a few, a few things here. So one, we're going to need a pulverizer and we actually get thorium out of that. So that's kind of cool. Um, uh, so we're going to pulverize it, black granite dust, electrolyze it. Then we get the biotite and then we're going to electrolyze that again. But I'm trying to figure out how I want to go about doing this. I think for the time being, I'm just going to, yeah, I mean, that's decent, but I think I may just throw them in some quantum chests until I can get them more organized, I think. And I'm probably going to avoid I'm thinking I'm going to be voiding magnesium and aluminum and see, and there's silicon there as well. And the oxygen, we don't really need these, uh, magnesium, aluminum, oxygen. I'll probably throw silicon and the silicon dioxide in a quantum chest and worry about it. Um, later, I think that's what I'm thinking. Um, aluminum, we have 3,100, we don't use that much. And um, I have a, I have a thing, a loot thing for it. Uh, so I need a, what is it? What did I say, pulverizer? Oh man, what's the, <laughs> blendomatic is it? No, that's the, yeah, it is blendomatic. So blend, I don't think, no. I'm gonna do recipes for these. We're gonna do IV, I think. Yeah, I'm 99% sure I don't have a recipe for <laughs> that. Should we do it while we're here? I mean, I have all the stuff, it's easy enough. So that is that. And then what did I say? Two electrolyzers. But the electrolyzer has a different name because it's IV. This is the one issue with. Um, oh, I don't know what the name of it is. Yeah, with doing IV because these have like different names. This is a bit annoying. Yep. 
See, it's not popping up there. Uh, 81, 92 is, if you do the, the voltage, it pops up all the different machines it does. Molecular disintegrator. Where'd it go? There it is. Right, there we go. It seems to be doing the correct circuit. Half the time I need to put it in manually, but that's good. All right, so what did I say? One pulverizer and two electrolyzers, I think. All right, so that will be there. I did go ahead and get a CEF, and now what do I have? I do. And I'm thinking maybe... I was going to put some of this stuff in the middle, but now I'm thinking maybe I should hide it. <laughs> I kind of want it somewhere accessible. If I did, I mean, it's kind of hidden on the inside. We're not going to be using all these things. Um, unfortunately, you can't lock them. So when I start doing this recipe, any one of these 16 output hatches could get the output. So that that's something to be annoyed with later, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, but if we did like that, I don't know. Is this going to look messy? I feel like if I put all this stuff right inside, it's going to look messy. Let me figure out where I want to put this, and we'll come back. And we are back, and... Uh, yeah, I've cleared out a basement bit just to kind of hide some of the stuff. And I'm thinking, since the igneous extruder actually needs needs RF, we'll do this, and then I'll put it right there, and then I can just put a thing directly on it right there. We'll put the igneous extruder right there, and then we can power it uh, directly. Now, I need to need to change this, though. And this is just going to be temporary, but I need to get the granite into this one. And as we know, you can't break the uh, you can't break the uh, the things without losing all the contents. So you kind of have to do some funny things with this. So basically, I'm going to all right. Let's just we can break this. I think let's, we do this. We don't lose everything in it. I think I probably lost the lava, but. We'll need to put a storage bus. Yeah, we'll put a storage bus on there and then export into the other thing. And that will get the all this granite into that. And then we will process it, I think. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. We'll do that. And um, where are we? We are in fusion reactor. I did forget to put acceleration cards. I did craft them up. Yeah. All right. So that will uh, that'll do that for us. Then we can throw that thing, and I'll probably have to throw some. More. I'm assuming I'll have to throw some more lava in. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's in there. Yeah, we lost the stuff. The stuff's still in there, but uh, all right, I'll do that. I'll get that taken care of uh, later. We have plenty in here. So basically, what do we want to do? We want to, where do we want to put this? I don't know how much other stuff's going to go down here. Um, let's put this directly underneath it. How about we do that right there? And that will be conduits, I guess, right? Um, or do we want to if we bring the power down? Maybe we'll move this over to be like here. I think we'll do it that way, and then 
This will come down like that into there. Yeah, and then we'll bring the Lumium down. Or the power cables down like this. Is that what I want? The only problem with this is we kind of block off. I really don't like doing this because we kind of block a, a side to access. That is my one kind of issue with that. Um, We could do chess. Maybe we should do maybe chests in between so I can kind of filter the items. Kind of similar to our, our setup up there. So if we did that and like that, maybe. I think we're going to have to do that. did that not what I want to do that and then to the left like that yeah we'll do that um, now I forgot to I think I forgot to connect yeah that. and I need to get another I don't think I have oh I do let's not where I wanted that. All right, now I need to switch these to output, output. All right. So what did I do? What did I do? Lumium. Is Lumium not? Is that weird? IV. C E F I E V. IV. I did a 16 slot. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I thought it was a four slot. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have noticed when it was like that. I don't know what I was thinking when I crafted that up. Um, yeah, let me uh, let me take care of that really quick. Well, shoot. I don't know what I was. Oh, I was thinking I'll probably have more machines on here. Is that what? I, yeah, I only want the four. I think if we need the sixteen, we'll switch it out. Um, that's right. I didn't even think I would have to get. Better cables. It sent out more amps. All right, uh, be right back. All right, should we try that again without the uh, the fail there? Man, that's annoying. I just burnt up a bunch of lumium. But, uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Lumium is actually pretty cheap now and pretty fast to smelt up. All right, well, there we go. That <laughs> that was funny. I was like, why is this exploding? All right, there we go. So that is. Doing that now the thorium is a one percent chance but it's overclocked quite a bit so we're probably at like 15 or 20 percent yeah yeah i think about more than that maybe 30 something percent i'm just kind of quickly guessing um so we need to get that and then the, the problem is i don't want to we could just do Ah oh, man. I don't really want to And this is so difficult to I just want to make this look as clean as possible is what I'm kind of going for. I could just throw this here. All right. Another issue is I think I don't want to void stuff either. Um, maybe we'll do it this way. I don't need those. Oh man, I'm getting short on wood. 
Gotta get that sorted out. No. Alright. See, I feel like this is kind of... This is messy. I don't know. I don't particularly like this. Um, is it black granite? Dirt. Thorium. And then obviously we'll have... I do want a storage thing of it. I just don't know if I want it right there. Oh, I do need a thing here. And the other question is... All right, this one doesn't need anything. All right. So there is, like, another one. We could do, like, on brown... into another one like here. Start brown. I really should have a, another filter on that one as well. Silicon. And probably some speed upgrades on that. Do I? I don't remember if we have speed up. I do have speed upgrades. All right, so there's that. And then I guess. Oh, wait. That's not what I want to do. Just kidding. I wanted it to go into a steel chest, didn't I? Yeah. I wanted it to do. And then to the left, yeah, all right, so we'll put it in there, I think, and then I guess need I really don't know if I like I'm not sure if I oops, no, I think I have some rubber, yeah, I just need to do this manually. Which is a bit annoying. I think I've ever gotten this set up. My... I'll probably set this up when I move this. Which should be relatively soon. Just haven't got to it yet. Alright, so filter. Yeah, the, the hopper is on an MV machine, so that's actually kind of slow. I really need to get everything moved over. I just don't I had a ton of extra time. I guess insert there, and then that would be biotite. Brown, insert. Yeah, there it goes. And there it's running. All right. So that is a basic kind of setup to get out those speed. I don't know how many we need. Four. Looks like it's probably fast enough. I don't like how this is flipping on and back and forth. So... We'll get that emptied out and yeah the problem is this is going to fill up with black granite i think that'll stop actually no i don't know if it will if this is full is this going to keep running i don't want that to happen i don't know we'll uh we'll see i may need to put a, a another quantum chest for black granite dust this is just going to be me kind of feeling out how i like this actually doesn't actually isn't that bad to be honest all right the uh, question is what do we do with this 
Let me uh, craft up some more stuff. I need a trash can for that. I need a couple filters. And um, I need a quantum tank for that. And yeah, I need a couple things here. We'll be right back. All right, it's got a couple things here. So quantum tank, I'll probably put this here. Because it's going to be going in. Oh, it'll, I can probably put it in right there. Do that. And uh, I guess we'll throw... You can throw this. Throw that here. And then like that. I guess we'll do that. All right, so. I need to do a filter on that. Basically just potassium. And a, man, am I out of? Oh, I just have enough. <laughs> I need to craft more. We'll do a blacklist on CM. And I guess silicon. I just realized I am short one. Forgot about silicon. I don't know what kind of it's I don't those up all right so that's that and then we need fluid conduits will be there there and I guess we'll just blacklist fluorine and fluorine on that Okay, so I have gone ahead and actually rearranged this. Uh, so I got the another quantum chest for the silicon, and then we move this down here just so these three were in a row. All right, so that's fluorine. That's the potassium. Switch that, and then switch that. That is whitelist silicon, and got a blacklist of fluorine, and then. Blacklist of silicon and potassium. So, in theory, when I do these, I should start emptying this stuff out, voiding the stuff I don't want, voiding the oxygen. So, there is fluorine, there is our potassium, there's our silicon, and then it's getting rid of the rest. Nice. And then fluorine. Oops, I am short on, or ender fluid as well. That will get piped just directly into the fusion reactor. Um, now, the only thing, I don't know how I want to do this. Um, I need, I need potassium. And to get regular potassium, I need to fluid extract potassium ingots. Now we're getting dust, so I'm gonna have to smelt this. I thought for a second that was a ingot recipe, but I saw that wrong. I'm gonna have to smelt it and then fluid extract it, which is a bit annoying. Um, I think I'm gonna put this down here. So it'd be like over here, maybe. It doesn't really matter where it goes. Um, I just don't know. Do I want to smelt this? Yeah, I'm not getting it that fast. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, we'll just. I'm gonna throw it down here. I was thinking maybe we would use the the mega, not the mega. What is it? The multi smelter. But I think I'm actually just gonna do it in here. But we can actually go ahead and do that. And we can just insert. that and that will go in there all right but obviously we don't have a tier three reactor so um i'm not going to do the potassium right now um that did take a little bit longer than i had hoped but uh yeah uh i did notice we are uh tearing through this stuff pretty quick here um so 
Yeah, we've done about half at this point. Um, also, probably don't need to worry about a backlog because this is actually going through it faster than we are producing it, of course, because this is, this takes 20, oh no, this is five. Anyway, it's keeping up. So this is never going to fill up with black granite is basically what I was trying to say. Um, and this one, I think, once it kind of works through, is actually going to be the same because this is going through 22 biotite. So this has to do 22, 22 uh, processes to do one of these. So I don't think we're going to keep with that. But and there it is. Thorium, lots and lots of thorium. That is, that's perfect though, because we need lots and lots for all the americium and the neutronium and all sorts of stuff. So uh, that's good. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with silicon dioxide, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the silicon. <laughs> Probably throw storage buses or uh, maybe process this down. Um, so I guess that would be another. That'd be one more electrolyzer down here. So I'm probably gonna have a few more machines. So I'm definitely glad I threw this stuff all down here. Um, so it wasn't kind of clogging up everything up there. Let me, before we wrap up, I'm just going to do this. Um, so yeah, that is gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll come back and hopefully um, I will have the, all the, um, the americium that we need for yeah, uh, I'm gonna remember trying to say all the americium for the fusion casings. Um, I also was noticing that we are starting to there's some processes that are filling up our our system and with infinite resources, which I don't like. Lithium, platinum, that is from producing tungstate. states. Lazarite, that's from all the lapis we go through. Emerald, I got a lot of that from beryllium and pyrite. So, I mean, some of this stuff is just piling up. I need to get these kind of put in a thing like tiny clumps of uranium, rotten flesh, plutonium. I'm not using these, so they're just piling up and I don't want them all piling up infinitely in our, our system here. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this on here, I guess. And then this is going to, this will all be processed down into, how do I want to do this? Probably like this. I'm trying to make this a little bit clean looking. This actually isn't too bad. And it's hidden. So yeah, I'm actually kind of, I kind of like this build actually. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So th thanks for watching and have a good one.